anyone long time no see, here are the materials for today's tutorial. Feel free to pause if needed. And also, here are the skills that you will need. They're very basic, but I will not be going in depth in this tutorial. Now let's get started! Start with your first color and attach a slip knot to your 4.5mm crochet hook. And from this point, you're going to chain 70. After your 70 chains, you're going to count to the third chain from your hook. And into that chain, you're going to insert a half double crochet. And you're basically going to do a half double crochet in each chain until you reach the end. Once you reach the end of your row, you're going to chain two and turn your work over to the other side. And at the beginning of every single row, you're going to chain two. Now insert a half double crochet in the first stitch and into every stitch in this row. And this is just a basic half double crochet row. Once again, at the end, you're going to chain two to start the new row. And for the third row, you're just going to do another row of half double crochet, except after this row, we're going to switch colors. So once you get to the last stitch, you're not going to yarn over all the way. You're going to leave the three loops on your hook and grab your second color. You're going to make a slip knot like so and attach it onto your hook. And you're going to pull it through the three loops on your hook. And then with that new color, you're also going to chain two to start the new row. Now take your scissors and you're going to cut off a tail of the first color. And what we're going to do is actually crochet over these two tails, one of the first color and one of the second color. And this is to make our lives easier so we don't have to weave them in later on. And what you're going to do is another row of half double crochet, except make sure you put these tails kind of in between your stitch and they should be kind of in the bottom of your stitch. Hopefully this is a good visual representation. And as you can see, because we crocheted on top of these tails, they're virtually invisible now and they're kind of in between the stitches. And so you're going to do three rows of half double crochet with this second color, just like our first color. And don't forget to chain two at the beginning of each row. So after this third row with your second color, you're going to change back to your original color and we're going to make a slip knot once again, attach it to the hook, pull it through the three loops, and then cut off your second yarn, chain two, turn your work over, and you're going to crochet on top of these tails again and you're going to do an additional three rows of this color and it's exactly what we've been doing for the past six rows. Once you're done your three rows with half double crochet, you should have a total of nine rows. Now take your second color and this is going to be our last color change. You probably know what to do by now. You insert a slip knot to your hook, pull it through your three loops, cut off your yarn, and this time instead of three rows, we're actually going to do two rows of half double crochet. After that second row, you're going to fasten off.
Now take out your measuring tape or ruler, whichever one you have, and you're going to fold your piece long ways like this until you have a flap that is two and a half inches wide sticking out like this. And it's going to act as the top flap of our pouch. And so make sure to line both sides like this. And from the end, you're going to count how many stitches are sticking out. And for me, it was nine. And keep that in mind. Now take one of your stitch markers and you're going to mark both sides of your panel to connect them and go to the other side and keep that number in mind. For me it was nine and I just counted nine from the end and then marked the stitch to make it identical to the other side. Now take the yarn that you used most recently, and it should be the yarn that you did the two rows. And so you're going to find the end, doesn't matter which side you start with, but insert your hook into both sides of the panel in the corner like this. And with that yarn, you're going to create a slip knot, insert it into your hook, and you're going to pull it through both panels like this. And we're going to connect these sides together. And so you're going to do single crochets and make sure to line up these stitches and you're going to repeat the single crochet between the two sides of the panel and you're going to repeat this until you reach your stitch marker. Once you reach the stitch marker, be very careful when you take it out and keep in mind which stitch it marked on the other side. And you're going to, of course, single crochet on those two stitches. And once you do so, fasten off. Now you're going to find the other corner, and I flipped it to the back side like this. And you're going to repeat what we did exactly. So you're going to create a slip knot with the same yarn, attach it to your hook, pull it through, and again, just single crochet between both sides of the panel to connect it together. Once you reach that stitch marker, carefully take it out and do your single crochet like so, but this time we're not going to fasten off, but you're going to continue single crocheting on the side of your top panel, and you're actually going to keep going, and you're going to go around the top and the side as well. You'll notice at the top of the panel there aren't any formal stitches, so I just estimated one stitch per row of half double crochet. And try your best to find an open space that you can put your stitch. Finally, continue single crocheting on the other side as well, and stop when you reach where you fasten off the first time on the other side. And when you meet up where you fastened off, you're just going to slip stitch on that last stitch right here to connect it together. And you're going to fasten off. Now take your darning needle and weave in the loose ends. Now you can leave it as is, but if you're going to attach a metal clasp like I am, use your needle and thread to attach it to your work. And you're done! This is a super cute and simple pouch, perfect for your sunglasses or whatever you want to carry. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what else you'd like to see in the future.